Welcome back, y'all. So, today we're talking about the SIG MPX. So, another one of my wife's guns. Um, I actually really love this gun. Um, she wanted an MP5, like I said, I wanted an MPX, um, and I'm glad we did so because these are better. Not, not in every aspect, but I'm going to just say generally, this is a better choice. Uh, if I had one to compare, that would be my end result, in, a, in, a, in my opinion. Um, so, go ahead. It's clear. Um, so, talking about this. Uh, this is pretty much how it came. Uh, except for the muzzle device, it just had a threaded barrel thread protector on there. At the time, same time we bought this, we got this Omega, Silent Show Omega 9K, and uh, got the Trilog adapter for it. So I bought a Trilog mount for the cam, and there we go. Um, has the, this really it's not the greatest mount for a um, first gripe. The brace mount kind of walks loose periodically, but that's that's regardless. You can swap. Uh, if we ever SBR this, get a probably an MCX style folding stock. Uh, I'm not a flex set, much like the. Spa's video and the Uzi video. I'm not a fan of stocks like this. They look cool. I always thought they were cool as hell. If you ever watched Navy SEALs with Charlie Sheen and Michael Bain, they had those MP5 SDs, you know, with those those stocks. They look cool as hell. Uh, none, no stock like those really are comfortable shoot. This is again nine millimeter, so not as big a deal, but it's still it's just it's not it's not ideal. Uh, this is a brace, it's a pistol. Like I said, it's how it came. Um, even he threw in the red dot with it when we bought it because um, he was having a hard time getting rid of it at the time. So, going over it, like I said, it did come with just a thread protector on the barrel. And we have this cam on here, which this gun is really quiet when you shoot subsonic ammo out of it. Um, yeah. Has it's an older one, as you can see, it has key mod instead of NWAC, like they have now. They are a um, very AR like in how they break down and their controls and just about everything. Um, if you look real quick, it is a it is a blowback system. It's cold, kind of, sort of. Yeah. Um, um, but it has a the recoil. It's not like an AR recoil assembly. It's more like an AR 180 um, or an MCX as far as the recoil system goes. Um, triggers are a little different than ARs as well. But control wise, Takedown is just like an AR, as far as you get your front and rear takedown pins. Got a dust cover just like an AR. Charging handle, for the most part, feels like an AR charging handle. <clears throat> Magazine release, just like an AR. This one does have an ambi uh, bolt release. So it does have a, like an AR type weapon. It has a last round bolt hole open. But as a bolt release on this side, which makes this gun very fast to reload. Pull one out, it went in, drop the bolt, rock. Um, AMB controls, <coughs> AMB mag release, bolt release over here, just like they are. Um, and because it's shorter, a little bit shorter, it is kind of easier to reach. The selector is AMB, it's a 90 degree throw, just like an AR. <clears throat> trigger. So, trigger. Let's 
very AR like. It actually has kind of a fairly forceful reset. It's not terrible, but it's no spec. Get a guy, you can get a Geisley for them. No big deal. Pistol grip is actually really nice as it comes. I, I'm a pretty good fan of pretty big fan of that. Um, yeah, there's really not a lot to say about this gun, except for big, probably the biggest downside is these damn magazines. I mean, there's other kind of guns that are more expensive, but you know, these are like 60 bucks a pop. Um, and that's that's just pretty much the downside to it, I think, is the magazines. You know, I think at the time he was the good dealer that I go to for a lot of stuff, a lot of people. He had trouble selling this because everybody was getting the CZ Scorpion at the time. Because uh, Scorpion mags were cheaper, the guns were cheaper, you know, they could buy almost two Scorpions for the price of this. So, um, yeah, I'm glad we got this one. Uh, because I, I, I like Sid, um, and the, it's a good, it, to me it's a good gun. Um, so, the brace. Press this button here. The stock comes out. Or the brace comes out. It goes back in. Pretty compact gun. If you, I mean, yeah. But, ooh. I guess you could, you could say it. it's kind of like it's an MP5 and an AR had a baby kind of. Although really, it'd be more like an MP5 and an MCX had a baby. Whatever. Um, pretty cool design. Um, I'm surprised it hadn't caught on as big as it has. But at the same time. That's if you like this type of gun, the uh, pistol caliber carbine, or pistol caliber pistol in this case. Um, I will say, as opposed to most PCCs that are designed to be submachine guns, like this was really kind of designed to be submachine gun as well, I think, but like most of the other ones, they have crappy semi-auto triggers. This one, like, like I said, it, even though it's kind of a mil-spec AR style trigger, you can put a, throw a Geisley in it and just rock out um, so I think this gun like it, it ends up being a very viable if you want to use something in 9mm um, yeah that was just going to be a real quick one uh, next I'll be going comparing this to the good old Uzi giving you my thoughts on that until next time